One of the fundamental aspects of international trade is the proper classification of the goods being imported and exported. The Shipping Solutions product classification software helps with three types of classifications. First, the harmonized system, or HS codes, are used by customs in any country to determine the import duties, taxes, and other import requirements. Second, Schedule B codes are used by the U.S. Census Bureau and Customs and Border Protection to gather trade statistics and to help ensure compliance with U.S. export regulations. And third, the export control numbers are used by the U.S. and other countries' export control agencies to ensure compliance with export regulations. Let me show you how the Shipping Solutions product classification software can help with these types of classifications. First, let's look up a harmonized system code. After logging in, find the classification tab and choose HS classification and then search. For this example, let's say I want to import umbrellas into the United States. If I know the beginning of the number, I can enter that to pull up the chapter, or I can leave everything blank to pull up the entire HS number tree. But if I have no idea what the number is, I like to start with a legal tariff search. So I'll type umbrella and click search. The software highlights in bold the headings that apply to umbrellas. Chapter 44 is for articles of wood. Let's say the umbrella is not made of wood, so I'll look at chapter 66. Heading 6601 describes garden umbrellas, and if I click the plus sign next to heading 6603, it shows that it is for handheld umbrellas used for rain. So this is the code that I want. The default duty is shown along with the chapter 99 codes that may apply for additional duties. You can also see more details and notes by clicking these icons. Once I've found the 10-digit HS number for the US, I might want to find the corresponding harmonized tariff number for another country. Keep in mind that while the first six numbers should be the same in every country, the last four digits will likely be different. In this case, I'll choose HS mapping. Let's say I want to export umbrellas from the US to the UK. I'll enter United States here, and I'll change this to export. I'll enter the HTS number we just looked up, and since I want to find the corresponding number for the United Kingdom, I will choose that in this Dropbox, and click search. The results display the United Kingdom's HS number for umbrellas. I can use the HS mapping tool for imports into the United States as well. In that case, I enter the correct HTS code from the country of export to find the correct 10-digit US HTS code for my import. Now let's look up a Schedule B number for software that I want to export. Under the Classification tab, choose Schedule B. Schedule B numbers are U.S. export codes, so there is no option to change the country of classification. If I know the beginning of the number, I can enter that or leave everything blank to pull up the entire tree. But if I don't have any idea what the number is, I can enter a description in the Schedule B description box. So I will enter software and click search. The results show me the chapter and heading that includes software, even though I don't see the word software here. If I click the plus sign, I can see that the tool has highlighted the code that includes the word software, and I can read the description to make sure it is the proper code. Finally, let's look up an export control number. In the US, this could be either an ECCN code or a USML classification. Under the classification tab, I will choose ECN classification and search. I'll enter the United States as the country of classification. If I know what my export control number starts with, I can type that in and the tool will take me to that part of the commerce control list or the U.S. munitions list where I can drill down to my proper code. Or I can leave everything blank to pull up the tree of all the ECCN categories. Or I can enter a phrase. So I'm going to enter telecommunications equipment. I've clicked phrase match and then I click search. Two potential matches are shown in the ECCN, category four and five. I'm going to choose category five. And as I continue to drill down through the codes, the tool highlights in bold what it thinks the best choices are but I need to make the decision based on my product specifications. Now that you've seen how the product classification software works, you can give it a try for yourself. Click the link below to get to our website, or if you're already there, simply register for a free trial.